Hello, my fellow Nigerians. This is what we are saying. One of our own, Professor Banji Akintoyi, have said that uh, <laughs> hey, the headsmen have acquired over 29,000 Yoruba people. It is time set to separate the Yoruba nation from Nigeria, Professor Akintoye says. The national leader of the Yoruba self-determination movement, Professor Banji Akintoye, has uh, stated that uh, suspected Fulani bandits quite no fewer than 29,000 Yoruba people and uh, continue to rape women and the uh, subject. Others to all sorts of uh, atrocities. Akintoye mentioned this in a press statement issued on Monday to the anniversary of uh, Yoruba Unity Day, stating that uh, given the continued threats to life and the uh, destruction of uh, farmlands, the only option left is to separate Yoruba nation from Nigeria. He said, the only viable and uh, sustainable uh, answer to all this uh, horrible situation is to separate our Yoruba nation from Nigeria and to establish our own uh, country where we shall be able to exercise our sovereignty to provide security for our land and the people and where we shall be able to run our economy decently in the way that we, we Yoruba know. Claiming that uh, the Yoruba Unity Day was being celebrated in uh, Ileife and Ibadan. He said in the rural areas of our homeland, where probably the majority of our people live, the Fulani people who are determined to seize land for a homeland of their own, are daily buying our people, have, have buyed a roughly estimated 29,000 of our people, are raping our women, kidnapping men, women and children, extorting millions of uh, naira in ransom for the kidnapped, for the kidnapped, destroying farms, land, food banks and uh, uh, villages, calling on the Southwest governors and the traditional rulers to adopt the Unity Day as a public holiday. Akintoye said, Obas, the father of our nation, should adopt this Yoruba Unity Day in their councils of uh, Obas, in all our Yoruba states, I urge that uh, our governors, when they assemble in their Southwest Governors meeting, to adopt this Yoruba Unity Day for all our states, while asking other Yoruba people to join him in his uh, self-determination struggle, he stated, we are seriously pushing for the separation of our Yoruba nation from Nigeria and the Nigerian disaster is different. Our percep perception of the Nigerian situation is not self-centered. It is not emotional. It is intellectually sound and uh, realistic, and uh, it is accepted by at least 80% to 90% of all, Yoru all our Yoruba at home and uh, in diaspora. Objectively, there is good reason to fear now that uh, the Nigerian situation could destroy our Yoruba nation. On the creation of the security outfit Amoteko, he said, there was some hope when our governors created Amoteko some years ago to resist the Fulani rampages. But Fulani people in control of uh, the federal government have uh, contrived in the uh, impotence of uh, Amoteku. The Fulani terrorists are also becoming uh, increasingly audacious in crimes and uh, barbarism in our main cities. You see, that is what we are saying. Why would one ethnic group be terrorizing, disturbing other ones, buying every other person claiming that they want to uh, be in charge of Nigeria as if 
Nigeria is their own. You see, here what our people are saying in the comment section. One Nigeria, some are suffering, while some are eating with their golden spoons. The wicked president is your person. Ask him how he allowed his men to buy his uh, kinsmen. As he continued to ask the sin Namdi Kano committed that is being punished by Nigeria. Nandi Kano want uh, this type of uh, separation. That is why he is uh, agitating for the Afrian nation. But he was locked up. That he has committed a, 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 a felony of which every Nigerian knew or what he's fighting for. Yoruba is going nowhere. We buy each and every one of us. We retaliate what is going on in Nigeria. I wish them best of luck. Cameroon tribalism tribe, you people have uh, apologized to render to Namdi Kanu. You people think that uh, we, the, you people think that uh, the Igbos are fools. What we see in Yoruba land is that Yoruba people, we the Yorubas, we don't like the truth. The truth is bitter. That is why all this thing is happening to the Yorubas. This is what happened during time. Olden days, when the Fulani took over and learned from uh, the Yorubas, till today, uh, they cannot regain the learning again back as their uh, fatherland. You people gave them the opportunity to buy the Yorubas. Had it been the Yorubas took a serious action, like the Southeast, the Fulani would have uh, remembered that uh, they came from uh, Funta, Jalon High land, or Burkina Faso in the upper north. It is true there is an uh, expiring date to the existence of um, amalgamated uh, Nigeria. Someone please educate us. It was 2014 the nation supposed to have a, uh, have a round table talk so that each and every one will go their own separate ways. But because these evil politicians they are enjoying the uh, the resources in Nigeria by themselves and their family. They cannot say the truth. They cannot do that because they are enjoying what is uh, coming out from the Nigerian soil. All the Fulani or Kada riders got money from ransom paid to kidnappers. They bought motorcycles from the ransom paid to them. Will you stand your grant tomorrow? That is just the problem. They're supposed to arrest the man and put him in DSS custody. But they cannot arrest him. Why would they arrest him? It's because he's saying the truth. It's the same the offense he's committing now. That is the offense Nam De Kano committed. He has been saying this because of what the Fulani has been doing to the Nigerian, the true Nigerians. Separate, you go your own way, everybody go his own way. You fight for one another and you fight for it. My people, my people, this is what we are saying, that we should be in one accord. That is the horror that Mohammed Buhari caused to us, he separate, he spread Fulani has others to Yoruba land in the name of uh, opening grazing. His end we worse than uh, his uh, beginning. Thank God, his own local government never experienced peace. Not the local, not the only the local government alone. Even the whole state, his state Kasina, is experiencing problem every now and then. Hmm. My people,
This is what we are saying. Nigeria is matured for cessation. Let everybody go on his own way. Separation is needed now. The most vexatious issues about the Yubas is their inability to stand firm and rigid by their ways. Even good living in the bush knows that the Yorubas are deceptive. They would bark like a bulldog and cannot bite a mosquito. It, if the Yorubas were unequivocal and um, strongly determined like the Igbos, we wouldn't be singing like a Nigerian today. The Yorubas were responsible for the in the sort in the solutability of Nigeria and uh, they are waking up from sleep today asking for the solution of uh, Nigeria. Well that is right. The reverse is uh, inconsistency in their demands. If they were serious, less hypocrite and the uh, ticket, they will know that uh, this an opportunity for them to save their future children from this uh, contraception. Otherwise, they might end up the way original houses today. Hmm. Separate is the goal for each and every one of us. Let's fight for our rights. Now, let peace reign. Let my peoples go out of a kidnapped and the terrorist Fulani Hesme that occupied all our bush and the buying people for ransom every time inside Nigeria. Let Yoruba go out to have peace. My dear fellow Nigerians, what do you say? Hmm. It's only Yoruba even in Igbo land has quite more than 5,000 people. No, this is not, it's not happening. Let Nigerians sit on the round table and discuss the future of Nigeria so that there will be peace in Nigeria. My people, my people, in the comment section, say your opinion. Share, love, subscribe to this channel. You are free to say your mind. Like and love. God bless Nigeria. Thanks and God bless. Amen.